What's up guys welcome back to another video so today I am going to be featuring this crazy crazy golf 7R stage 3 golf 7R by the way and uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, going through the full mod list on this car and giving you guys a bit more of an in-depth insight into what actually makes this car tick then I'm going to be jumping in the driver's seat and actually taking this car for a spin so before we do that though, if this is the first time that you guys are visiting this channel and you're keen to join me on my automotive journey, then uh, definitely do go and hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date with what is happening on my channel. Cool, let's go. So I am here with Chevin from Ultimate Performance. Uh, Ultimate Performance obviously built this Golf 7R behind me. So I think Chevin, maybe before we get into the performance mods, maybe just tell us a little bit about the all the external mods that you guys have done on this car. Cool. Yeah, sure. So kept it sort of simple. Most of the stuff comes under the hood, but for now we've got a set of 20 inch BBS wheels, CHRs. Uh, H&R springs so that it fills the arch out nicely um, just looking around we've got a gloss back black wrap on the roof just to finish off the panoramic sunroof and then at the back a Utinga spoiler just a nice neat simple OEM plus kind of look I must, I must say these um, these BBS rims I actually only ever seen them in pictures but I think to see them in real life it actually looks quite cool quite like that style um, and then you said it's like it's by basically a 35 mil drop yeah on the car okay and then the thing is boiler so this is obviously not only for styling right this actually does add a little bit of extra downforce maybe yeah, yeah. somewhat yeah okay and no, then, cool. yeah just a bigger set of exhaust tips there all right okay cool so let's go check out the uh, performance mods now Looks a bit deceiving here. <laughs> Everything looks quite standard, but what we have going on, first thing you can see is the intake with the TurboTechnics silicone. We've got a TurboTechnics V5 hybrid running there, that's what makes it a stage three. Um, turbo back exhaust, so from the turbo all the way to the back, 76 mil. We've got a water mat system, and we're also running our ultimate performance bolt on intercooler. Okay. Um, any specific reason why you went with like a cone air, uh, a cone filter air intake? So it's something that we've tested quite a bit. We've always um, favored the, the open in air intake. So with the BMC 100, 100 mm air filter, it allows the turbo to breathe properly and does its job as a filter to clean the air. Okay, do you find that you actually get a bit less lag? On, um, on yeah, so spool up as well, or with the open filter, it is a bit more responsive. But you know, we're talking small margins there. Yeah. No major issues from heat soak and that kind of stuff. Nothing like that. We have the heat shield, you know, just to keep it separated and to keep the air coming through the the OEM grill yeah. straight to the intake. And then with the cooler and the water mat, it keeps the engine, you know, running cooler than ambient. Yeah. So I guess I mean the little bit of extra heat that you're gonna get from. Um, from this open this open area here. it's really almost negligible right yeah it's negated once it actually goes through the upgraded cooler and the water method set as well okay cool let's maybe jump inside and just uh, take a look at the interior sure yeah okay so there's no there's no giveaways here inside that it's actually a stage yeah everything stage three. no hidden no gauges or anything like that it's looks stock. fairly stock looks just the, the pedal extensions okay to make it look a little bit more sportier okay cool but otherwise it's, it's pretty much factory all right i'm quite keen to uh to actually start it up and actually um, capture that exhaust note and share that with you guys this car sounds crazy crazy wicked um you guys so this thing is running a stage three tune which you guys obviously also develop in fact you are yeah. responsible for yeah. for the tuning right on the car and I noticed earlier on when I heard your car, it's actually got like a bit of a crackle. Yeah. Is that in the tune or is that like from the water meth itself? Uh, so that's that's from the tune. We added a bit of a bubble to it. Okay. So with our maps, we can, because we're doing everything custom, we can sort of 
determine how loud it's gonna be if you get actual like pops and bangs if you get a bit of a bubble or okay yeah whatever the customer wants whatever you want you can we okay. can sort that out so where would you rate this exhaust in terms of how you tune it yeah so this is this is very mild oh like, is it? i can even flash the the loud one now and you can hear it as well <laughs> like i've got the tool here we get yeah set up some gunshots okay cool maybe a bit later yeah sure maybe a bit later cool i think let's quickly just capture that exhaust note and uh just show you guys what uh, what it actually sounds like on like a daily basis I don't know I guess I've kind of been going deaf slowly so <laughs> <laughs> but once you get it above once you get it to like close to 3000 and you're cruising then it's not that loud anymore it can go right here okay let's pop it into manual mode actually yeah so you can get a bit of that bubble as well quickly I don't think we actually touched on power output yet okay. so currently what's this car putting out in terms of power so at the moment it's making 280 kilowatts on all four wheels so we've tested it on our four-wheel drive dyno um, yeah that's the power it's currently making so we're hoping to push it up a bit more you know do a bit more fine-tuning a bit more development yeah it is still on the stock motor so yeah. you can't exactly push it too hard. Yeah, yeah. But oh, okay, okay. So that, that sort of just brings me to the other thing that I wanted to actually talk about, right? So this, this is like basically, it's a bigger turbo, but it's straight bolt on. Yeah. So this turbo, it comes with a turbo and an inlet pipe, and it bolts onto your factory everything, your factory downpipe, oil and water lines, it bolts onto the factory manifold. Okay. So you basically, it's stock motor, stock clutch. Yeah. Uh, basically and just bolt it on your turbo and doing a full turbo back exhaust yeah. exhaust and then running water meth on that as well yeah. and your cooler yeah. <laughs> this thing is crazy dude this yeah. thing is crazy that's i have so much fun with this car that's the best part about this car the acceleration it just kicks you back, keeps going.
that, dude. This thing is crazy, man. This thing is wicked. Ah. Uh. reminds you that hey you know <laughs> there's a big turbo under the body <laughs> yeah it's exactly that and that's why you know you can use this as a daily yeah you can cruise around with it do long distance trips i mean i drove this car down to pe okay and back again so you know it, it really is a daily drive yeah oh this is awesome dude. this really is awesome Okay guys, so we're basically gonna wrap up now. I hope that you guys actually enjoyed this feature today and I wanna give a huge shout out to Chevin from Ultimate Performance. If you guys are interested in engine builds or hardware upgrades, software upgrades, uh, services maintenance, that's what these guys specialize in. Definitely hit them up. I'll drop a link uh, to their website uh, in the video below so you guys can check them out. Chevin, thanks a lot. It's okay. been absolutely awesome, dude. Yeah, okay, um, funny. I did, I did. It's definitely opened my mind to, you know, what a big turbo uh, Golf 7R is about stage three. It's awesome, it's awesome, absolutely awesome. I can get used to it. You know that, exa that exhaust, it's a bit loud, but yeah, <laughs> I can definitely get used to that. Uh, until next time, guys, enjoy.